Alexandros, Deacon Alexandros, might I have a word with you? What is it, my son? I, I am ashamed to admit it, but, but I have been thinking. Blessed is the mind too small for doubt. But the emperor has seen fit to grant you a mind, so why not speak it? Oh, I fear to speak heresy. The heresy and doubt that is left to fester in your heart is far worse than the heresy you admit to and repent from. Tell me the source of all this fear and doubt. Well, I, everyone I know has echoed these words so many times. The Emperor protects. And, and we should have this unshakable faith in this truth. But I must admit, Alexandros, the pain I see in this world, in the galaxy, the suffering of the very old and the very young, the poor, the destitute. How could the emperor allow these things to come to pass? You speak out of ignorance and weakness, Ambrose. You ask why the emperor let these ones suffer. Why did you allow them to suffer, Ambrose? What are you doing to follow the example of the Emperor? The Emperor is our faith and our shield. It is through him that we endure the hardships of this galaxy and flourish despite every wicked and evil thing bringing their strength against us. It is his example alone that we follow, and in moments of dire need it is his hand that delivers us. The Emperor protects Ambrose. He does not micromanage every moment of our lives. He allows us to do as we will, and our own weaknesses and inadequacies are caused by our inability to follow our God Emperor's example properly. Do not let the suffering of your fellow man cause you to lose faith. Look into the eyes of the widow and the orphan and the cripple and feel the fire of the emperor burn in your bosom. Understand the need to do his work, to strengthen his people. It is the way of the heretic to prey on the despairing, to make you believe that there is no hope, that the strength of the emperor and mankind cannot endure. But it has endured. And it will endure, as long as we hold on to our faith. I have spoken foolishly and weakly, Alexandros. Please, I beg you, forgive me. You have come to me for help. And so I will aid you in purging your weakness. Today you will join the March of the Penitents, and among them you shall remain for one week in prayer, fasting, contemplation, and neuroscourging. When your week is complete, and you have recovered your strength, you will be welcomed back to the flock, and your sins shall be forgiven. Blessed be the Emperor's name. Blessed be.